10 investigates is learning that a teenage boy in foster care will face charges for a crash that killed a 58 year old woman. It's part of our caught in the cycle series exposing how problems within the foster care system can have a direct impact on public safety. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haberly reports an update on one family's journey for accountability. 447 till far step it up. A teenage boy in foster care behind the wheel of this stolen Mercedes now faces charges, including driving without a license and aggravated vehicular homicide for this crash last October. Ma'am, stay with 41, me. 41, okay? 45 on scene, 41 block of Chatterton. Stay with me. That killed 58-year-old Paula Kennedy, a tragedy her daughters say was preventable. It's hard. I think that it doesn't change that we still lost our mom. Um, I kind of feel like if we would have, or not we, but like the state would have intervened sooner um, in charging him when he originally stole like the first or the second car. One, he would have been receiving a consequence on just stealing a car and not killing someone. This is the third time that he's done it and he killed somebody. You know, as somebody who was very, very much loved in, in, in the community and was huge and not only my family's life, but so many, so many people's lives, you know, and now she's gone because of, uh, uh, you know, Children's Services not doing their job. The fatal crash illustrates how even those with seemingly no connection to the foster care system can be directly impacted by those caught in its cycle. This crash marked the third time in a year that the teen had been caught driving illegally. The first happened in January, when he was accused of driving through a school soccer field. That charge was dismissed over the summer. Then in September, he's accused of stealing a minivan from a foster home in Dayton. But a delay in charging him in that case meant he was assigned to a new foster home, where after a short stay, he's accused of stealing this Mercedes. Ten investigates also found numerous police runs dating back to the foster home where Franklin County Children's Services had placed the team raising questions about the scrutiny given to foster care placements. That foster parent told us last week he's no longer fostering children. It's one of those things where it goes back to, it's almost too late. I feel like we should have been asking these questions and monitoring these homes before big things happen. The family's hoping for additional policy changes so that their story doesn't become someone else's. Bennett Haverly, 10 Investigates. Bennett, thank you. Now the teen is expected to be in court Friday. We have produced a special program with all of Bennett's reporting on being caught in the cycle. That streams at 7 p.m. tonight on 10TV+, also our free app on Roku and Amazon Fire TV.